Hello and welcome to how to add new songs to a PS Vita rhythm game, IAVT. Yes, you can now add your own songs to IAVT. In order to do that, first of all, you have to download 89 Converter, which you can find on the internet. Unfortunately, I can't provide a link for it because it's kind of illegal. Also, you have to have the scale form video encoder, which is used to convert video files to USM format. Uh, unfortunately, this is also kind of illegal, so I can't really post links to any of that. But I can post links to this. You need to download X264 codec converter, which you can get from the VideoLand website. And also have to download FFmpeg, which you can also get from the FFmpeg website. So once you have these two EXEs, you need to put them into IVT mod tool tools folder. So make sure in tools folder you have FFmpeg, X264 EXE, and huge thanks to Negato for IVT texture generator tool. So I have to have all those three tools in there. To make a song mod, you have to have a video file, preferably 960 by 544, but really anything will do as the converter will resize them. Also, preferably it's good, it needs to be 30 FPS, because if you're going to do less or more, the timing on the beatmap starts to go off a little bit. I guess it's all tied into 30 FPS, so just keep your video at 30 FPS. Also, you have to have the preview image for the menu, which has to be 512 by 256 PNG format. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go into how to make actual beatmaps in uh, a little bit later. So, what you have to do first is launch up the mod tool, and it's going to ask you for the 89 tool and scale form video converter path. So, let's just set that. And you're presented with the main menu for the converter. First of all, the converter works even if you just put the video file or just the audio file, it will convert to USM or ACV AVB files respectively. So you can convert just the video or just the audio. But if you want to create a whole song pack, you have to fill in all this information. So first of all, we're going to choose the video file, which is right here, dimension tripper.mp4. Song name is dimension tripper. What it is now, and very, very important, you have to input the BPM of the song. So if you're converting from Wasser, you can just look, look that up there. So for this particular song, the BPM is 188. If you want to use a different audio for the song preview in the IAVT menu, you can check this checkbox and choose your preview audio, which has to be in WAV format. Okay, then we have to choose the song menu picture, which is right here. And if you already have at least one mod installed on your IAVT, you have to check this. Download song list program from FTP. And when you check this, you have to input your PSV IP address, which for me is 192.168.173.197. And you don't need to input the port 13. 37 that will put in automatically. So after you've filled all of this information up, just press convert. It will download the files from the Vita. And it's going to convert the video. And this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to be back when it's all finished. Okay, so after the converter has done its job, it says here, all done, please upload the constants of the this folder to your PS Vita at this address or writing any files asked. Let's see what it has done. As you can see, we have new folder here, Dimension Tripper. And basically, what you have to do is connect via your favorite FTP client to your PS Vita and upload this folder to your Vita at 
UX0 app and the app code of the IVT. If you're using the uh, physical cartridge version, you can replace the app with patch and just upload that folder there and it should work. Now let's uh, talk about how to get the actual bitmaps in because uh, when it uh, converts this, it only converts the files. It doesn't provide you with like a bitmap already ready to play. So if you're just going to copy this to your Vita, you're just going to get a straight line and nothing on it. The files that need to change in order to create a bitmap are in resource, common, songs, and there are the files. So as you can see, there are a bunch of files here. Basically, uh, it's uh, like this. D1 is the easy difficulty, so there are the easy difficulty files. D2 is the medium difficulty files, and D3 are the hard difficulty files. So basically, I'm going to explain what file does what. So the CIR file is your circle file. Basically, this controls the circle in the IAVT. So basically here we have the, you can set the time at which this command appears, at the time at which this command uh, executes, the command itself, which is can be set or move. I'm going to go over this in a different video, just not to make this one a little too convoluted. Here you have position, angle, and size. And basically you can input uh, stuff and move the circle around the screen and all of that kind of fun stuff. The CRV file is for your curves. Basically here you can set the curves, which you can then use in the track file, which sets your track. Here you can set the uh, colorful mode to go on and all that kind of stuff, which I'm going to explain later. And the mid file is the most important file, which is the bitmap itself. Unfortunately, it's in this kind of format, so it's a bit hard to read. But basically, I'm going to explain this a bit later. Basically, if you use the also converter, it's going to give you the mid file, which you can then take. I have I've prepared, I've converted the Dimension Tripper bitmap from Osu, uh, link in the description. All props for the bitmap to the maker of this bitmap. It's pretty freaking awesome. I really love this bitmap. But I already converted the easy, uh, normal, and hard difficulties into IAVT form, which is right here. So let's copy the, these files into whoops into the common sons directory. Delete the dummies. And as you can see, M it's M one ten. So one ten is the ID of the song. So let's just copy that and paste it into the each file. So just like that, we now have easy difficulty, normal difficulty, and hard difficulty. So now we are ready to upload this to our Vita. So use your favorite FTP client. Here I have FileZilla. This is going to connect to the PS. This is going to connect to the PS Vita at 197. Go to UX0 app. I have PCSG00355 and just drag the resource folder right here. And it'll take a little bit. And as you is going to ask you to override the Sonless Param, Sonless Param Nico, and the D28 text GP216. You're going to override all of those files and then it should just copy files that are left. I'm going to see you when this is done. So after all the files have, have been copied, we can now go to IAVT itself. 
and check out our mod. Now, in order to in order to see the mod actually unlocked, you have to play some uh, some other song once in order to unlock it. That's just how saving in IAVT works. There's not really much I can do about that. But I'm gonna load the game. I'm gonna go to free play, and as you can see, I already have one mod song, and here we have the Dimension Tripper, which I just added, and as you can see, it's locked. So we're gonna have to play. The Oh my god, I'm gonna get copyright. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna have to play some other song once so this unlocks. So I'm gonna to play something real quick and uh, I'll be back. So after you have played some song at least once, you're going to see that you have unlocked Dimension Tripper. And yeah. I'm level 3 on this because uh, I'm not going to be doing anything but creating mods, for God's sake. Anyway, let's return to the menu, and as you can see, the Dimension Reaper is now unlocked. So we can go in and play. And excuse my terrible playing, but you get the idea. Okay, I'm not gonna play a bit too much of this because I'm gonna get copyright probably. So, but uh, you get the idea, it works, and uh, yes, unfortunately, it's all in a straight line uh, unless you do some fancy stuff with the files, which I'm going to show later. But yeah, so that's it. That's how you add new songs to IABT, and I really hope this takes off, and really hope to see some amazing beat maps in IABT from the community. So thanks for watching and I'm going to see you later. Okay, so one uh, last thing I kind of forgot to show you is the OSU converter. So pretty much what you have to do is to take the OSU files from your bitmap that you want to convert and uh, that's pretty much all you need. You need the OSU converter and the OSU files from the, the uh, bitmap that you want to convert. So uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the creator of the OSU parser link in the description for creating an awesome also file parser which helped considerably to create this also converter so basically what you have to do also converter is a command line application so you have to put ivt also converter you enter the name of your dot also file so now mission tripper easy then you enter the output file name, so I'm just going to call it uh, m110d1mid.txt and then you can either finish there and it will just convert it, or you can add an offset, which is uh, handy if you're adding a little offset to your video, so your video starts a bit later because of just, you know, some OSU bitmaps start instantaneously and that Kind of isn't an option on IAVT. You're just not gonna get the those notes. So if you want to add a little offset, you can add that as a third parameter. Also, one thing I've kind of noticed with these OSU conversions is that uh, it's best if you look up the uh, offset in the OSU itself. So, for example, for the Dimension Tripper. We're going to go into Edit in OSU and look for Dimension Tripper. There it is. So easy difficulty. And if you go to Timing, as you can see, the offset is 570. So what I've noticed with this, if you look at this offset and actually input it here as, for example, 0.570, because this is in milliseconds, and this uh, offset is in seconds. So if you enter 0 0.570, 
uh, it will be actually more accurate. So just make sure when converting from also to look at this offset and adjust accordingly. So just press enter. It gives us all the hit objects that are in this bitmap and outputs the M110 D1 mid. And then open up and as you can see, there it is. There is the bitmap. So I'm going to go over this stuff, how you can create the bitmaps manually. It's very, very tedious and I don't really recommend doing that. Uh, there may be some form of bitmap creator later in the future if I get around to it. But uh, for now, also converter and the manual creation of the bitmap is all we have. So, and uh, this time that's really it for this video. And I'm going to show you later how to actually create manually all the uh, track data, curve data, circle data, all that stuff, how you can uh, actually create a bitmap yourself. So thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the later video.